Give Me Content. Game Masters here, and I want to show you why Mortborg is an awesome alternative role-playing game. It is for mature audiences, and if you're not familiar with what Mortborg is, it's a very rules-light, hardcore, apocalyptic fantasy role-playing game that is all about lost souls, uh, fools who are seeking redemption, forgiveness, or, or the last remaining riches in a dying and twisted world. You'll encounter necromancers, skeletal warriors wander the Valley of Undead, the Forest of Sarkash, and many other cruel locations. Mortborg is an old-school, renaissance-styled game that you can play with everything that's in this singular book, or you can rip it apart and easily use it in uh, its bits in your favorite RPG, be it 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons, even 4th edition, 3rd edition, AD&D, or even in Pathfinder. That's just one taste of what makes this an awesome alternative, but if you'd like to know more about what Mortborg is, I'll leave a link down in the description, but right now I want to show you the awesomeness. I want to give you the content. Direct from Mortborg's website, they provide to you for free a rules reference sheet. It's printable and comes in both English and Swedish. They also provide to you, again, for free, character sheets in two different styles at that, the basic and the crypt edition. The crypt edition is very artistic and is just very cool looking. Also for free is the entire fucking game. It's a bare bones edition and lacks the full on artistic look of the core book, but this downloadable PDF is the entire game. It's nothing fancy, just plain text, but it lets you step into the world of Mortborg without spending a dime. They also have an online character generator, that's also free. Want to create a dungeon to toss the players into? Yep, they have a random dungeon generator for free as well. Need monsters to populate your dungeons or the above world? Well, they provide a monster generator for free as well. Want more awesomeness? How about Rot Black Sludge, a free introductory dungeon crawl, or the Forbidden Philosopher, a free new character class, or a free set of tablets that can be used to randomize elements within the game, or a dun deadly dungeon duo, the Membrane of Sarcantha and the Damned Sarcophagost, two hazards that should be avoided at all costs, but can certainly be encountered within any given dungeon, and also free. Want even more awesomeness? How about another free dungeon, The Devil's Tomb? In this one, the eyes of the icon of the Saint Largoth have been stolen, and you gotta find them and bring them back, or at least die trying. And if you really want something awesome, check out the free Mortborg comic To Hell and Galgenbeck. A moment ago, we mentioned a couple of adventures, and while it's common for many role-playing systems to offer up free introductory adventure, Mortboard goes further pro by providing, again, more in-depth adventures. But before I highlight them, I need to thank these Dark Castle supporters. Their contributions to my channel have made it so that I don't need to take on sponsored ads for this video. If you'd like to contribute, I'll leave a link down in the description as to how you can become a Patreon or YouTube member, and of course, I'll add your name to this ever-growing list. Sepulture of the Swamp Witch takes place in the Slithering Swamp. Rumors abound that the Swamp Witch has an altar that can grant any wish. Perhaps that could be the key to stopping the impending doom that is washing across the land. Then you can find out for free in that adventure. The Goblin Grinder is another free adventure. This one taking place in the streets of Gallenbeck. Galgenbeck. It seems that goblins are infesting the local town and the alchemist may have a cure. But what is the price? I mean, two free adventures is awesome, but kicking that awesome up a notch are three more. Graves left wanting where the characters will find themselves buried alive. Bloat, where villagers have disappeared taken by a gluttonous king as food. The Death Ziggurat takes place in a lost temple of undead madness. The end of time is approaching. Can the characters postpone the inevitable? There is even more awesomeness in the form of free weapons that go bang. Black Powder Weapons for the Rich and Foolhardy provides a list of several projectile-based weapons. And then there is the Merchant, an enigmatic traveler that barters with several items of questionable origin. The biggest question will be, what will they cost the characters? But for you, the PDF is free as is this neat table of 100 items and trinkets, as is this additional list of 66 more items. Should you wish to go off a bit uh, of the rails and not use a class that's presented in the core book of Mortborg, there is also for free this unheroic feats PDF that you can use to advance your classless characters. And if you want a very unique monster, perhaps use it as your game's big bad evil guy, there is the Bone Boyer, a horrid fae that lurks in the depths of the Sarkash forest, which is also free.
Eat, Pray, Kill is free as well and offers up an optional rules for hunting food as well as 54 new monsters. And if you like the idea of optional rules, there is Overland Travel, another set of free homebrew rules for, well, Overland Travel. Should you wish to add more classes to your game provided for free is the Sacrilegious Songbird, Dead God's Prophet, Pale One, and Cursed Skinwalker. While all of that is awesome, perhaps the thing that makes Mortborg stand out and become beyond awesome is this, their third-party license. Get this, their third-party license allows anyone to make stuff for Mortborg and publish it for free and sell it without Free League Publishing taking even one dime. This means that you can make adventures, classes, weapons, anything for Mortborg. That alone makes Mortborg beyond kick-ass in my book. Makes me want to craft up some content and try to sell it. They have a few rules that you must adhere to, but overall the terms are very basic. I'll leave a link down to uh, all of what we have just covered as a pinned comment. But how awesome is all of this? And with it all being free, it really doesn't get better than that, does it? I'm still going to enjoy Dungeons & Dragons, but I'm having a really fun time playing Mortborg. So I felt compelled to share with you all that uh, quick and simple rules-light role-playing game. There is a lot of free content out there for Mortborg. It's certainly a good one to pick up for your New Year's Eve party if you want to try something new out. Just remember its themes and situations are for mature audiences. If you'd like to know more about Mortborg, be sure to check out this playlist next. What are some other games out there that offer up this much free material, but also let you create content where you can reap 100% of the profits? Let me know down in the comments, and until next our paths cross, may you avoid the Swamp Witch.